Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Taurus Tuesday. So the plan for this reading is uh, we're going to be doing some shadow work. So if it's not a good day for you, you know, if you're feeling particularly over emotional or I'm saying that to a Taurus, <laughs> do you get over emotional Taurus? Everybody does right from time to time. Uh, you're, you're known to be a, a particularly stoic sign, which is why I was saying that. But, every, you know, everybody everybody feels stuff right um if you are feeling um uh, in an energy where you're feeling like you you're going to be easily triggered um it's not going to be the right day for you to do it or maybe it is it depends how <laughs> how brave you're feeling right uh, are you going to boldly go into a reading that's going to trigger you <laughs> and deal with it um it's um we're doing shadow work so uh there will probably be stuff coming up that's going to kind of touch on sore points for you uh it's always a bit difficult when i do shadow readings but um it is designed to force us to look at things that need looking at right so that we can deal with them process and get them out and clear that energy um i feel i'm picking up for you aries feeling really quite drained and tired um i'm kind of getting burnout energy specifically those words burnout uh so i don't know if you're overworked i don't know if you've been very stressed or burdened at the like recently so I just feel really tired I can really feel it um so um I don't know it feels like maybe persevering with the situation and it's just not going anywhere um I am burning some palo santo it's kind of like clearing something out um so we'll see how that plays out in your reading I guess so I'm gonna do what are you working on healing what needs to be healed and uh what's going to help you to do this so what is taurus the healing or the, yeah yeah i was picking up on it your song is nathan sykes um uh, there's only one of you by Nathan Sykes. You, there's only one of you and you're just what I like. Um, I don't want to be in the gutter. Um, I don't know if there's a relationship that you're trying to... Uh, it's like you're trying to make it happen or you're trying to persevere with it or something like this. And it's you're just getting very drained, right? It's, it's It feels like it's been... A, it's just like coming through like... You love this person, I want to say. It doesn't have to be romantic, but the lover's card normally is. And I don't know if it's necessarily somebody that you're currently dealing with or it's somebody from the past. But it's like there is love there, right? This person is in your heart, um, but the, it could be circumstances or just, you know, stuff that's going on in your, in your life. You know, a lot of stuff to deal with, a lot of stress. It just feels like there's something where... Um, perhaps like with this burnout energy it's maybe maybe the sparks fizzled out right and that can happen when we when we're too busy because Taurus you're the sign that works hard you know uh normally again you may have a very lazy uh, Mars placement maybe like Libra in your Mars placement so it's like oh I'm too indecisive to work hard um uh, I say that as a Libra by the way <laughs> um it's like um it's like it's got this feeling of like relationships shouldn't be hard work relationships shouldn't drain you relationships should uh be fun and you know if it's your person if it's your soulmate then aren't they meant to make you feel good about yourself aren't they meant to make you you know want to spend time with them and excited so is there a lot of stuff i feel like it's outside factors right so i feel like what you're healing is a relationship either a, your own relationship with love your own relationship with relationships or it could be a specific relationship for you but it's like um i'm getting this energy of like a lot of stuff going on so it could be like you know you keep like get going out to like social invites it's like they're telling me like weddings you know like or like your friends are doing like a like a Netflix party or something like this or um so it's like you've got all these different like social engagements but at the same time like maybe there's something going on with work that's really hard maybe you're dealing with some kind of like family situation as well so it's just like there's a lot of stress and I feel like it's not just you I feel like it's you and perhaps a partner not for all of you again like we'll, we'll see how it plays out it could be different messages that come through but it's like um it's almost like do we heal this or do we like do we do we do we heal this do we try and make it better do we just persevere and hope it gets better do we separate for a while it's kind of got this energy of uh, how do we heal this how do we fix this what's the right thing to do uh, it's just tired it's just so tired uh, uh, Taurus uh, so where uh, how how does how does Taurus heal this time just give it time give it persevere give it time make a plan um no i think you need to take some kind of practical action here i think you've i think you're aware of it i think you know that 
um, you need to do something, right? Uh, so it's come up with a plan, gather resor resources, uh, but not only like get it out of the planning stage as well. So whatever it is, it's like uh, you need to get it off the ground because the, the page going into the night is like from planning to, to, to practical action. Um, so it's it's having some kind of strategy and actually taking action on that strategy so it's almost like stop putting something off as well it's like stop procrastinating um again you could be dealing with a libra <laughs> it's like because libra like likes the planning stage libra likes to sit there and go right let me think about every possible scenario and outcome and way that this could play out and then if <laughs> Like once I've like once I've looked at it from every single possible angle, like once I've gone full, I can't I can never th think of his name, Doctor, not Doctor Evil, Doctor, not Doctor Robotnik. I, I think my guys are messing with me. Uh, Doctor, Doctor Strange. <laughs> at the time, Doctor Strange love. Doctor Strange from Avengers, you know, where he's like, uh, I've looked at every single possible scenario and this is the only one that, that works. It's like, that's Libra. <laughs> that's how Libra's mind works. It's like, let me look at this. Like, and then, but then they're very sure, right? They're like, trust me, I've thought about this a lot. This is the way we need to do this. <laughs> so it's, but it's like, right, let's do it then, is how it's kind of coming through. Um, yeah, Libra, look, unbelievable. Queen of Swords. Could be definitely dealing with the Libra. Uh... But I want to say, if you're if you're partnered with a Libra, and do you know what? There's you've got a lot in common. You're both ruled by Venus. Um, I think you have to understand the process of the other person, right? You have to understand the way that the other person's mind works, the way the the other person deals with emotions and deals with stress. You know, some people just need more time. Some people need time to think. Some people need time to rest. But you you've got that burnout energy as well. So I almost want to say like. Uh, I always want to say there's nothing wrong with this relationship, whatever this is, and again, it could be your own relationship to relationships. It's like there's nothing really wrong with it. It's showing with, as the lover's card. The lover's is divinely guided. This is a divinely guided connection, right? It's meant to be <laughs> if it's the lover's card. It's your choice. It's the choice that your heart is making. So um, it's like if there's other factors that are impacting it, I feel like it's just a case of like, time and space, right? They're giving me, I think that's a Wolf Alice song, time and space, right? Maybe your person needs to go away and heal. Maybe your person needs to go away and think something through to really kind of like get everything in order and to figure things out. Maybe you just need some space to de-stress, you know, to, I don't know, to have a bit of rest. Uh, maybe it's hard for you to focus on work and the relationship at this time, so you just have to focus on work and like have this, and you know, maybe talk it through, maybe be like, okay, um, I'm really busy with work. Uh, I can't, it's, it's, it's having a bad impact on me. It's making us argue. So if you let me focus on work for a bit while you go away and uh, make a plan, make a strategy, it's like, we're not separating we're just we're just i'm focusing on this you focus on that or have the space and to think things through and then um you know then we'll meet back up and kind of like compare notes it's got that kind of energy so tell me more then about the lovers this part of you that's healing again it could be like healing from an old relationship that just never got off the ground as well you know it just fizzled out yeah um Again, it could be a relationship from your past where, you, you know, like a, a relationship that ended, you know, it's boundaries were drawn, things got cut out, uh, but there's, there's the Ace of Cups under that. So it's like, it's almost like ugh, the potential, like the, like Cowboy Blues, right? It's like the potential was there, thinking of like what could have been. Um, I need another card, please. I need another card on the connection between the lovers and death, please. What is what is Taurus healing? What is Taurus healing? It could be, yeah, it's fear. It's fear of fear of things ending. You're scared of things ending, right? It's like uh, perhaps you've been hurt in relationships in the, in the past, and um, perhaps you've been dealing with players, right? Perhaps you put your heart on your sleeve and, you know, people played with you and, like, discarded you and it hurt, right? So it's like, do I want to open myself up? Do I want to be vulnerable again? I'm scared that, you know, is this person who I'm so attracted to really just a siren, right? What, you know, 
are they going to use me and discard me? Like, I'm scared. Like, I can't bear to open my heart just to have it end. You know, I can't bear to open up and bring someone into my life just to have them taken away from me. So whether or not you're scared that this person's going to hurt you or you're scared that the universe is going to hurt you by taking this person away from you, um, there's a lot of fear and stress around it. It's like the lovers is such a good card. It's like it's better to have loved and lost than never to have lost at all. But when you're sat in the pain, right, when you're sat in the pain of the loss, it's really hard to see that when you're still sat in the pain of it you're still sat in the fear of it and you're still unprepared to open up to new relationships and yet you had a new relationship showing with the ace of cups it feels like part of what you're afraid of is something to do with uh your stability with your foundations so this is a family right this is like shared um stuff so it doesn't even have to be romantic it's just like your, you know your heart so it's 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 like I don't want to lose everything. I don't want to I don't want to build something up just to have it knocked down. That's very, very Taurus. You know, you want things to you want things to grow, you want things to um be successful, you want things, you know, you want a return on your investment, you want your investment to grow. So it's like you're trying to create the Ten of Pentacles. So for some of you, for some of you, now the lover's card can be a choice in love. For some of you, you have a ten of pentacles situation, right? You have stability, you have security, you have a, a home, you know, a business. You have something that is like stable and secure and prosperous, but your heart wants someone or something else. And you know that if you follow your heart, if you, if you go for the, if you go for love, you're going to lose the money. So I want to say that some of you have ended a, a soulmate connection because you don't want to rock the boat and you're scared of not having your financial uh, uh, comfort blanket. So some of you have chose money over love or security over love. And you're healing from that. You made the choice. You made your bed. You, you lie in it, you know? So different messages coming through there. Um, but this is what you're working on healing. Whatever choice you made, however this thing played out, whatever ended or whatever you're scared of ending, that's what you're dealing with. That's what you're coming to terms with. So what is the Knight of Pentacles? How does Taurus, how does Taurus heal this? For some of you, this is um, building back up again. So for some of you, you are making a plan to make a heart choice. She's looking back at the lovers. Some of you are choosing love. That You're choosing your heart. You're choosing what speaks to your heart. You're choosing what speaks to your soul, right? Um, and you're coming up with a, a plan for how to rebuild, right? Or uh, you're making an offer. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is typically Virgo energy for me, but it can be very much your energy too. It's kind of this, um, it's kind of like I have something to invest. Where am I going to invest it? Uh, because I want it to turn into this, right? So it's like uh, it's got this restructuring, rebuilding energy to it. Um, and you want, um, you want what you want, right? <laughs> the Queen of Wands knows what she wants and she is going to go directly for it. Like, there's no stopping her. Look how, like, empowered she is. I love the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is like, um, <laughs> think of me, I am who I am and what I am needs no excuses. My phones are beeping at me. Let me just check. I'm still recording. Yeah. I am what I am. So, um, yeah, it's, I am what I am. I like who I am. Um, I'm confident with myself, my choices, my abilities. I am prepared to do what needs to be done and go for what I want. <laughs> so uh, Queen of Wands, very, very confident, very unapologetic. I love her. Maybe you love her too. Uh, but yeah, so it could, it could be your energy, right? You saying, uh, no, I know what I want. I'm going to go for the thing that speaks to me, um, my heart and the thing that I'm passionate about, but I'm not just going to jump in. It's funny. I was talking about to Aries about, um, was it Aries or was it my own reading? I just get so mixed up with the readings. In one of the readings I was talking about, um, jumping in the swimming pool. You don't have to jump in at the deep end if you don't know how to swim. You can start off in the kiddie pool with some armbands on, right? And you can work your way up to, you know, as you get more confident, you can work your way into the deep end. So, um, 
it's it's got that kind of energy to it as well of like because the knight of pentacles is slow moving because the knight of pentacles has a plan and they're going to do things properly it's like this could also be like a wedding dress the knight of pentacles can sometimes bring a gift or an engagement ring something tangible and of value so don't get too excited i mean i this is your energy this is what you need to do so maybe you need to propose to someone uh, Taurus I don't know maybe you need to get married to someone maybe you need to propose maybe you need to put a ring on it right if you're scared of it ending put a ring on it <laughs> I don't know you know if you want the ten of pentacles like build the ten of pentacles so um I don't know different messages for different people coming through there but yeah it's like do what needs to be done uh be practical and be bold like know yourself know what you want go for it right good advice like <laughs> I think it's healthy to have fear as well. I think it's healthy to, um, you know, nothing's bad. Just thinking makes it so. So when we're about to do something bold, when we're about to do something uh, that we care very deeply about, I think it's only natural that most of us go, oh, what if this happens? What if this goes wrong? Right. That's normal human brain behavior. It's just us putting in this arm, putting the armbands on ourselves, right? It's just us going, is this really safe? Maybe we should dip a toe in the water and make sure it's warm instead of just jumping in and finding out it's cold. So it's just your brain saying, right, let's get the safety checks. They're showing me um, on an air, you know, on a when you get on an airplane and they're like doing the safety checks, they're kind of like showing me that. So <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, like do what needs to be done in a very bold and confident way, but do it in a practical way as well, right? Put the armbands on, you know, steady, slow and steady, but you know what you want, so so do it, because that's where you're gonna get success from. So good reading, I like it. I like it because the advice is really practical. The advice is really good advice. It's like, if you want it, go for it. Do it in a sensible way, right? Um, and then you don't have to fear you don't have to have the fear because you've put your own safety net, right? You've put your own seatbelt on, you've put your own safety net like on, you've, you've, um, you've got a backup plan. That's how it feels. It's like, do the thing, but do it in, do it the way Taurus does it. You know, you don't have to be Aries. Maybe you're on the cusp. It's like, do I Aries this? Do I jump in the deep end or do I just kind of go slow and steady? Like, <laughs> go slow and steady. It's funny because Aries kind of had that as well. It was like people underestimating them and they were like, no, I'm prepared, right? I know, I'm, I know my stuff. Okay, so what else do we need to say to Taurus before I close out this reading? You're just what I like. That's what just came through, that, your song again. There's only one of you and you're just what I like. You know what you want. You know what you want, Taurus, right? You know where your heart is. The fear is just the safety checks, right? So embrace it. Be like, okay, what am I afraid of? Like, I think there's a reason why a card didn't come out because I was drawn back to this kind of like head in hands energy. It's like, right, like, right, okay, let's think about this. Let's think about this practically then. And it could be you or perhaps the person you connected with. It's like, well, what are you scared of? What are your fears? What do you think is going to go wrong? And be like Socratic with it, right? The Socratic method of, of breaking down fears. It's like, uh, okay, so um, is there anything we can do to minimise the risk if that went wrong? Is there anything we can do so that we have a plan B if that doesn't work out? So you're going through all the fears and kind of like, um, almost like itemizing them or bullet pointing them and coming up with a strategy of like, well, what if the worst case scenario happens, what then? Right. So it's 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 creating this comfort blanket around um, the fears of like, yeah, things might go wrong, but we've got a backup plan. So it's really it's actually like, Taurus, daddy, mummy. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I need some Tauruses. <laughs> Where do I find a Taurus? Like, a Taurus friend to just tell me what to do. Um, OK, let's see. I'm joking. I'm sorry. Um, you don't need advice you're awesome uh too many uh take a break i told you i'm taking that one because it's kind of what i was picking up on you've also got council of light divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms uh birthing a new age birthing new creations dreaming a new world into being and protection call back your power cut the cords soul retrieval so take a break though oh look at this beautiful imagery um i played the sims and we got a um a moroccan themed uh kit 
uh, like a Moroccan themed expansion pack for the game and it had like it got these kind of like beautiful columns and uh, windows to it and just immediately reminded me that it's so pretty um, take a break I told you burnout right a life's work not a season get off the treadmill oh my goodness Taurus yes that's what I was picking up on uh, a life's work right slow and steady wins the race the knight of pentacles has a plan and they implement it and they do it in a measured sensible way and that's how Taurus gets to success so take a break it reminded me of like old 80s adverts I think there was some like adverts for like I don't know if there's like a chocolate bar called take a break I don't know why I'm getting that but that's what I'm getting I haven't thought about that for years uh, 82 that's <laughs> funny I was born in 82 Are you, were you made in the 80s Taurus um, a life's work, not a season, get off the treadmill. It's okay to take a break and enjoy your creations, to take a moment from your busy schedule, to get off the treadmill of life, to appreciate and acknowledge all that you have created, achieved, released or experienced before rushing on to the next thing, to be in the moment and enjoy where you are, to take a breath and regather your mind, body and spirit, to recalibrate, appreciate and celebrate, to decide on what you really want to experience next, if you take a moment, you are not going to miss out. Perhaps you have just completed a big project, manifested something significant in your life, released an old way of being, or you've just been burning the candle at both ends. That's what I was getting, right? Burnout. Um, literally, I was trying to light my joystick. This is where I got it from. I was trying to light a joystick. And I'm there trying to light it. And it's just the flames going. And I'm tipping the match, you know, to try and make the flame, like, go up the match and get bigger but he was just burning out before the joystick would light so that's where I got burnout from and the, the, just the energy feeling really tired um like it's funny it says burning the candle at both ends as well um now is the time to get some time out before rushing on to the next thing you did it enjoy yourself and recalibrate go on vacation book a massage take me with you uh, take long work, walks in nature go away for a rejuvenating week weekend to recharge and replenish take a break and a breath Taurus you did it you deserve it right you deserve that rest and I think I've said this to you before as well Taurus um and uh, like just earth signs in general I think Capricorn's had it as well um self-care is part of the plan or it should be part of the plan right because if you burn out Taurus you you're not going to be able to work as effectively so actually factoring in time to have a massage to have a long hot bath you know to to get a proper night's sleep that's part of you taking you care of yourself so you can get the job done it's part of the plan so write it in like go to your diary now or your schedule and pencil it in be like spa day Taurus's rest day is Taurus Tuesday. Taurus is take, turning off the phone. Taurus is going for a long walk. Taurus is not here. Taurus needs Taurus time, right? So pencil it in now. Go. You have permission from the universe to go and book yourself a spa day or a rest day or whatever it is. A day off, right? You deserve it. The universe says so. <laughs> go to your boss. The universe says I need a day off. All right. I hope you've enjoyed. Leave me a like, comment, all that business, and I will see you again soon. My lovely Taurians, I just saw 2323 on the timestamp. That breaks down to two fives. So uh, fives are about changes. And also, you know what? When the caterpillar is turning into a butterfly, they need the time in the chrysalis, right? Um, if they didn't have enough time in the chrysalis, they wouldn't fully transform into the butterfly. So the rest is important. Take care. I will see you again soon, my lovelies. Bye-bye.